FilePecker 3 consists of the FilePecker 3 100 type and the FilePecker 360 type. They are electric paper driller with large capacities. The FilePecker 3-100 model can hole punch 1,000 sheets of paper in just one to two seconds. And the FilePecker 3-60 can do the same for 600 sheets of copy paper. When installing the machine, first unite the balance weight in the toolbox as you see here on the screen. Attach together the operation arm as well. Then check the punching stroke. When the handle is pushed down, the tip of the drill should punch the surface of the wooden plate about 0.5 millimeters. If the height of the punching stroke is not right, then rotate the vertical adjuster as you see here to adjust. Then fix the vertical adjuster and carry out the drilling task. First, turn on the power switch and straighten out the document to place on the table. Then, adjust the back margin adjuster on the back of the table according to the size of the whole margin of the paper desired and make sure the sides are parallel. Adhere the document to the centering block and turn the screw to fix. Then press the paper push button so that the documents cannot move. Now use the standard stop gauge to control the size of the gap between the holes. Then press the punching handle and move the table to the left. Then again, move it slowly to the right as you use the standard stop gauge to pause at each position to stop and push down the handle to punch the hole. How is it? The paper stays fixed and the holes are made uniformly. When lots of documents are hole punched with same size gap regularly, it would be convenient to use the program stop gauge as an option. When a more convenient process is desired, choose the special table as attached on the FilePecker 4-100 model. This table offers both of the standard stop gauge and program stop gauge. Its method of use is the same as that of an ordinary FilePecker 4-100. When the chip box gets full of chipped holes while processing, turn the screw and detach the chip box to throw out the chipped holes. When replacing a drill bit, first turn off the power and dismantle the chip box. Then use a hexagonal spanner to dismantle the drill. Turn the new drill into the adapter of the shaft and push upward. Then use a hexagonal spanner to adjust the height of the paper clamper so that it comes out about 5 millimeters below the tip of the drill. If the replaced drill is too short, then the paper block of the back margin adjuster needs to be replaced as well in order for the chip box not to be damaged. When resharpening the drill bit, first remove all dust at the end of the drill with a gimlet and use a sharpener and oil stone to grind as you see here. For other cautions and information, refer to the file pecker 4.